Today we're gonna make apple dumplings from scratch. Oh, who am I kidding? I have two teenagers, a six-year-old, two dogs, and 12% of my sanity left. So let's just scratch making things from scratch, okay? I'm Christina Kuzmich. Let's stop wasting time trying to make everything perfect and instead embrace the sticky chaos and still make something delicious out of it. I'm gonna give you a recipe to eat and a recipe to live. Life is sticky. Dig in. We're gonna start off with three apples peeled and then you're gonna take each apple and cut it into six slices. So cut it in half and then three. <laughs> Hello, really good at math here, right? Then we're going to toss those apples with one teaspoon of cinnamon. All right, toss that. You know what? Just use your hands. Who doesn't like a little massage? Are you enjoying this? Oh, let me get your shoulders. There you go. So because we're not making this from scratch, because we love our sanity, we're gonna use crescent rolls, pre-made dough. If you live in a country that doesn't make crescent rolls, Croatia doesn't, use puff pastry. I grew up in Croatia where my grandmother taught me how to cook and everything was made from scratch. So I didn't even know that soup came in cans until I moved to the US as a teenager. I went to a friend's house and her mom was like, you hungry? And we're like, yeah. And then she freaking opened a can, just like blob into a pan, heated it up and we ate it. Like I thought soup came when my grandmother bought a dead chicken at the market and then plucked it in the front yard while I screamed in horror. That's what I thought. For a long time, I thought I had to make everything from scratch. And if I wasn't making something from scratch, I felt like I had to hide the evidence. Homemade crescent rolls. Just get rid of that. Wait, what if someone sees it in there? Oh crap, it's see-through. I'm gonna put it in a doggy poop bag and then I'm gonna wrap 87 more doggy poop bags around it. Yes, gotta get it out of the house, but I can't let anyone recognize me. Okay, I'm gonna put it in my trash bin. Wait, no, someone could look inside my trash bin. That was dumb, that was dumb. I need to get it out of my trash bin. Ugh, smells like rat poop in here. I need to put it in my neighbor's trash bin. That's it. Okay, if I stay low, I'll draw less attention to myself. Stay low, Christina. Mrs. Smith looks like the type to use prepackaged dough. Why do people lock their gates as if some weirdo with no shoes will try to break in? All right, in my neighbor's trash. <laughs> oh! These days, I'm a little less crazy, depending on who you ask. So I've learned my lesson. You know, I'm not gonna hide the evidence anymore. I'm just gonna display it. You know what? I may even choose to wear it because that's how proud I am of it. So we're gonna take these apples and we are gonna wrap them in the crescent rolls. See, for a long time, I thought that because my grandmother made everything from scratch, I needed to be that mom that makes everything from scratch. And I freaking started to lose my mind because what happens is we put ourselves in a box where we feel like we just have to be this one kind of mom. Listen, someday you're gonna be a super organized mom and another day you're gonna be a super messy mom. Some days you're gonna make things from scratch and some days you're gonna use pre-made dough. Some days you're gonna feed your kids a fancy five course meal and other days you're gonna serve chips and salsa. By the way, if you put salsa in a gravy boat, <laughs> that's a fancy meal right there. All right, back to our apple dumplings. You're gonna grab a nine by 13 pan. You're gonna spray it with nonstick spray. Guess what? I didn't make this pan from scratch either. I bought it like this. And then you're gonna start placing these in there. Here's the most important thing you need to keep in mind, you guys. You gotta put your sanity before other people's judgments and opinions. And that includes your own judgments and expectations. I'm sure that you created a fantasy of what kind of parent you were gonna be, right? And then you had kids and you were like, what happened? What, what happened? I can't live up to that. You know what happened? What happened is that you're normal. That's what happened. All right, we're gonna keep rolling them. Now listen, the other thing you need to know is that you have a right to change your mind. So maybe you are in your 50s and you wanna completely change your parenting style or your career or whatever. Get yourself out of that box. Boxes are boxy and they're sweaty and it's hot in there and it's uncomfortable, don't do it, get out. All right, you're gonna end up with two extra apple slices 
and just eat them or like throw them at your kid or something. Now we're gonna make a sauce. We're gonna start off with one and a half sticks of unsalted butter. That's three quarter cup. And then we're gonna add to that one cup of sugar. Guys, I don't know if you know this, but sugar is gluten free. So it's pretty much good for you. And then a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, half a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna put that on the stove and cook it until it's melted. All right, all we really need is for that butter to melt and then that sugar will incorporate. And there you go, you got a healthy sauce. All right, this is all you want. You just want that butter and sugar to snuggle up, get tight, and now let's pour it. It looks like soup, like a butter soup. Just add some veggies and I bet it's really healthy. All right, we're gonna grab our apples and then we're gonna spoon this on. You guys, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. There's a lot of apples in here. I love you so much. I love you. It's like putting a little blanket on them, getting them all cozy. Are you cozy? Here you go, my little love bug. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to devour you. And then, the last step, we're going to pour one and a quarter cup or 10 ounces of ginger ale around the pan. I mean, inside the pan, not, uh, you know what I'm saying. And then we're gonna bake these in a preheated 350 degree oven for 40 minutes uncovered. <gasps> oh my goodness. I feel like I should have dressed up for this fancy occasion. All right, my grandmother, was here, she wouldn't judge me for not making these completely from scratch. You know what she would do? She would take like three of these and shove them in her pie hole and enjoy them. Oh my gosh, they smell so good, they look so good, yum. Oh, one more thing, speaking of judging, for all you health nuts who send me comments like this one, you're using too much sugar, it's poison and you'll ruin your health. Okay, Mr. Judgy McJudgy, you're using too much criticism. It's poison and you'll ruin your health. First of all, mind your own business. Second of all, I'm gonna add some protein to this. Dairy is protein. You know what? I need extra protein today. There's your protein. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? You guys, whatever you do, do not tell my family that I made this, okay? I'm gonna be in my closet. Recipe to eat, simple apple dumplings. For the full recipe, go to kristinakuzmich.com. Recipe to live, put your sanity before other people's judgments and opinions.